I'm in a room full of people, but I'm lonely. I've been shedding tears like a baby. Losing my mind, going crazy. Gotta stay strong, can't face me. Man, I didn't even know y'all was there, man. My bad. I'm just doing my singing thing, man. But uh, I knew y'all probably see this Torah, man. It's a pretty dope book. I haven't really learned how to read it yet, man. Um, I don't know if y'all know how to read it, but I'm I'm intrigued with it. My brain was sparked by it. Um, I didn't see a Torah until I came to prison. And um, it's this guy. He usually comes. He's a bookaholic, kind of just like me. And he's like, he, he reads through books so fast. And so... I gave him this Torah as a scientific experiment because most people, when they read a lot of my books, I give them this Torah to see their reaction to it. Um, and the reason why I do that is not, it's kind of, it's kind of a trick. It's kind of an inside joke, but it's also to challenge them and spark their brains. Um, I'm going to give y'all a quick testimony. When I first started making music, I would do hooks for songs, but I didn't feel my voice was strong enough to do a complete song. And uh, hold on real quick, y'all. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, like when I first started, when I first started singing, because I always was rapping. Um, but when I first started singing, I didn't think my voice was strong enough to do a complete song. So I would just do hooks like. Um, because that's the only, that's the only thing that my vocals could take. But one day I was walking around and, and the dude, he was like, man, he said, bro, you be singing these hooks. You might as well make a whole song. And I was like, I don't think I can do it, man. I couldn't see that in myself, but he saw it in me and he sparked my brain to make me even want to do that. Um, he told me just like, man, stop doubting yourself, bro. Like you can do it. And I was saying and saying and saying to my vocals started to hurt and then I would rest it. And so he kind of put a fire in me that I tried to put inside everybody else, man, of, um, because I'm from a city where people just stay in their comfort zone. And I guess God made it my mission for me to help um, bring people out of their comfort zones, man. And that's growth is uncomfortable. And so I gave him this book and um, he sent me back a, a note. He said, I'm smart, but I can't read Hebrew laugh out loud and my thing is um especially as a as a melanated being um but as a human being period man i feel like the knowledge is already inside of us and and, and even though i didn't think that he could read it or know if he could read it because i didn't know what he could do um i didn't want to limit um uh, or place my beliefs on him because there are people who can read this and I just wanted to see where, if he would challenge himself. I wanted, I, I, I hope that he, the goal was for him to keep it for at least 24 hours, but he sent it right back, which most people do. And I get it. And you know, um, the whole, the whole thing is, man, the message behind this testimony is to get out your comfort zone and to challenge yourself. I just wanted to spark his brain. Like how my brain was sparked. Um, you know, you know, when you when you are learning new things, it forces you to, you know, to, 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 to put your pride aside and really learn these things. And even if he never picks up a Torah again, at least he's seen it. At least he's seen the words written in it. And God used me to spark his brain, you know, just like how somebody had to spark my brain. You know, we had a time where there's a lot going on in the world and. An elder came to the door and he said, man, you want to learn, you want to try to learn everything because you just never know when you may be the last person left <laughs> to have to teach this knowledge. You know, you are smart enough. We have to go beyond our limited beliefs, man. And that's something that I'm learning. I didn't learn these things until I came to prison, man, but it's better late than never. Um, and I didn't want to place my limited beliefs on him because I couldn't do it or I don't or God has, hasn't given me the knowledge to do it. I, I, want, I didn't want to place that on him because I don't know what the next man knows. And um, 
like I said, he sent it right back, man. He he sent it right back. But hopefully it sparked his brain. If it didn't, at least he's seen something. You know, I did I did what God told me to do. That's my mission in life to, you know, to spark some kind of a to spark something. Just like how my brain was sparked, man. And um, yeah, man. If you've ever been inspired by somebody or somebody ever sparked your brain, man, write down in the comment section below. And if you're feeling inspired to make content, if you're feeling inspired to sing, do it, man. I had to, I, I used to sing so much that my vocals would get tired, man. And I'm not saying I'm so good, this and that and the third or whatever, but I'm just saying that somebody had to bring that out of me. And I made that my mission in life to help people bring out their talents or bring out their inner selves. Um, yeah, man, but, uh, I love y'all. Most importantly, I want y'all to love y'all selves. It's never goodbye. It's always see you later. See you later. But before I go, let us pray. I pray for the people who went hungry today. My heart goes out to you. Stay strong. Amen. I pray for the people who were lost and went astray. My heart goes out to you. Stay strong. Amen. I pray for the people who have no way to go. My heart goes out to you, stay strong, amen. I pray for the people each and every day. My heart goes out to you, stay strong, amen.